as a defender, how different has it been this year with um, such a high turnover of players, young guys coming through, and obviously no Stephen Fluxton behind you this year? Yeah, uh, it has been a little bit different, definitely. Um, but I suppose, probably actually, well, I'm well used to Ev. Uh, he, he's kind of, he's played really well and he's played, um, uh, he's played league games before and he's been involved in the panel for a number of years now, actually, since he was very young. Uh, so I had a good relationship with Ev and to get on well with him and he'd be a good leader there from the back. Um, a little bit of it, I suppose, like you said, there's a few new defenders coming in this year. Um, but... I think every year there's always that bit of turnover. Some people come and some people go. And so um, it's been, I suppose, a challenge, but it's been good. Um, this year, I suppose, more than any other year, although there's only been a couple of matches played, um, there seems to be more questions being thrown at this Dublin team um, more than any other year. Is that something you use as a motivating factor? Um, honestly, uh, not really. I suppose we, we do always try... I know it's cliche, but we try to keep the focus internal um, and avoid looking out to that kind of stuff. So, um, like in some years, they might hype you up, in other years, they might ask questions of you. So, you can't really be listening to that and just try to keep that focus internal. And, you know, we know what we need to do. Why do you feel there are so many players stepping away? Obviously, Stephen Fluxon, we haven't seen a Dublin jersey this year. There's questions around that. Paul Mannion has stepped away. Kevin McManaman's in Tokyo. Um, why do you feel there are so many players stepping away from Dublin this year? Yeah, I suppose it's hard to put an exact um, reason on it. I'd say the reasons are going to be very unique to the individual. Um, some guys may be coming towards the tail end of their career from like an age perspective. Um, other guys might have commitments outside of football. Uh, like it's obviously it's an amateur sport. There's no contracts. Um, they have jobs. They have family life. Um, so like it's I think it's a combination. It's going to be always very um, particular to the individual. You know.